happy and running. A beautiful tick. Talk, tick, talk, tick. That is what talk. the 1913 giant gold pocket watch on the plaza usually sounds like, but it has been quiet for quite some time. That is, of course, until Chester Johnson gets his hands on it. Chester is a clocksmith who's been fixing antique clocks throughout Santa Fe for 25 years. And once in a while, he gets a call about the Spitz clock. Then I put it in repair, and it's been working really off and on over, over 25 years. And every once in a while, someone will call me up and say, Mr. Johnson, are you the one who worked on the plaza clock? And I'll say yes. Chester takes the inside of the Spitz clock called Works back to his studio. He starts by cleaning the clock manually first, and then gives it a special bath. A traditional clockmaker's bath. It's composed of ammonia, acetone, soap, and water. Mm -hmm. And you put it in an ultrasonic tank. That sends an electromagnetic, electromagnetic wave through the cleaning solution and vibrates the molecules of the cleaning solution so hard that they will clean most of this gook off. Chester shows me the different components of the Spitz clock's works. That's the key. Yeah. And the, this, this whole contraption right here is called... The, the works. The insides of the Spitz, the works, were not always present in the Howard Black's company clock. Originally in 1880, this clock was just promotion for the company's jewelry store that was on the south side of the plaza. Then there was a second working clock that was destroyed by a car crash. This gold pocket watch you see today would be the third version from 1916. The actual weight system has at least three or four pulleys, and the weight is about, it looks like a huge brick of lead, and it must weigh 80 pounds. This large clock is very complicated to put back together, but this is not the largest clock Chester Johnson has worked on. He was able to do work on the Big Ben. Expert clockmakers who were appointed to find out just what was wrong with Big Ben. And I accompanied them. I didn't do any actual repairing, but I had some suggestions to make, which were politely received, and so I can tell people when I work on Big Ben. <laughs> Once Chester has completed cleaning it, he now has to test it to see if it works. Putting the clock up on this stand um, was quite a job because it's quite heavy. As you can see, the frame is brass, and that makes it heavier than heavy, and the pendulum Particularly the iron weight at the bottom was very, very heavy in order to make the clock run. And so very soon, within a couple of days, we expect to reinstall it in the plaza clock. And that is exactly what Chester Johnson and his colleague, Michael Cochran, set out to do, which turned out to be quite a challenging endeavor. And get it oriented so it is correctly lined up with the watch tower at the top. And then we had to string the cable through the pulley grooves in the dark. That's with our fingers, and some of our fingers bled. And uh, it all is rather finessed and fussy and a little nervous making. But so it's better when you have people who sort of drop by. Both Chester and Michael were gracious and thankful to have the surprise help of two friendly strangers. Well, a couple of strangers, one from Iowa and one from Santa Fe, and another guy who had a lot of advice, um, who was helpful. And they, were, they were doing some of the holding of difficult parts as we put the clockworks back in its tower here. Although the Spitz clock was not up and running during Indian Market, it is back now with a great new TikTok thanks to Chester. And thank you to Michael, it'll have a new gold leaf covering by the end of September. Tick. Talk goes the clock. See the hand go round and round. Tick tock goes the clock. See the hand go round and round. One o'clock, two o'clock, three o'clock, four, five o'clock.